fashion There can be no love In a world without you There can be no us Without you I'll fade away I won't last another day In a world without you I'm a shell of Smile is a very personal song to me. Um, some songs take a year to write. Some songs take months. This one took 15 minutes, and I wrote it um, after a friend of mine uh, lost her brother uh, tragically, and after the funeral, um, I was so inspired by the fact that I really wanted to cheer her up because um, she looked so miserable, and I uh, decided to write this song to cheer her up. About two years later, I went through a very similar situation with my mom, and the song ended up cheering me up. So the power of music is the fact that the song is universally cheering people up, including the writer. Um, and uh, radio has kind of taken to the song lately, and it's being played on some top 40 stations, um, and also being played a lot on digital radio. Um, I think it's a universal song, and also I think in these times people want power powerful and uh and, and positive music, and I feel like that song is a, uh, a very simple yet positive message. Woe is you, woe is you, when your sad eyes come in view. Where'd you go? What did you do? Sadness don't look good on you. Smile, 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 even if it hurts. Smile, smile, even if it hurts. Smile, smile. Smile Smile, smile, smile Even if it hurts Smile Smile, even if it hurts Smile, smile, even if it hurts Whoa 
Sadness don't look good on you. I've been part of the Miami music scene for, um, well, 15 years now. And when I first started playing in Miami, there was a lot of clubs in the South Beach area. There was a lot of clubs. There was not, I mean, there was, it was all kind of like a, an older scene that kind of fell apart. And we haven't really had a scene as strong as we had in the 90s in Miami than we have now with all these beautiful clubs that are opening up in Wynwood, all these great venues and great places that are focusing on live music. Um, one of the things I notice is that if you go to Fort Lauderdale or West Palm Beach, there's a live band in every club. If you go down to South Beach, it's DJs, 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 or a guy with an acoustic guitar playing flamenco with a iPod or something. Um, I'm really happy that not only are these bars booking live bands, they're booking original bands. Because I feel like most of the bands that play in Miami seem to be cover bands. Um, we need more people to be championing than future stars. Because that's one thing. I feel like we need to have some people break out of Miami. And um, one of the things that they're missing out on is being like, oh, we're, we booked them when they were nobody. That could be a great thing. And that's really cool that there, these great bars and venues are booking original local talent. And they're paying them, and they're doing these great things. So, congratulations, Winwood. You are kicking ass when it comes to making the Miami music scene, like you know, vibrant again. As I was dying.
Miami is always going to be my home. Uh, my heart is always going to be here. Um, a series of unfortunate events led to me having to relocate and start my life over for a little bit. Um, L.A. is a very inspiring town. Um, Miami, I feel, has um, equal amount of, uh, of talent and in many ways, in many scenes, more talent. The problem is that the industry is more... Uh, there's more industry universally in Los Angeles, especially in music that's in English, uh, in rock music and pop music. So I had to go out there um, and focus on what I really want to be doing. I, I made a living playing guitar for artists like Paulina Rubio and Christian Castro and Soraya and uh, Tego Calderon. And I did a really a lot of work here in Miami. But in L.A., my focus is being a singer-songwriter and being a producer. And I'm only working uh, right now with stuff that I really feel is more about the heart bank account as opposed to the actual bank account. And I've got some really great projects that are coming out now. Um, and uh, funny enough, I'm producing equal amount of Miami artists and L.A. artists. I just did an album with Alana Torino. And I just did a, an album with uh, Ali J. And uh, also I'm working with some great artists out there that are from L.A., like, uh, like a band called Little Dove that's really fantastic. Uh, Melissa Thatcher, who's a great uh, singer-songwriter, and the legendary Linda Perhax, who's an artist from the 70s, who I'm producing her, I'm co-producing her second album, uh, um, which the first one came out in 1970 called Parallelograms, and uh, this one is going to be blowing some minds. It's a really amazing thing, and I'm co-producing it with Chris Price, who's also from Miami, living in L.A., and um, there's a lot of great people from Miami out there, and there is a scene within a scene of Miami people. But I love coming back here and rooting as much as I can for Miami music. And uh, I feel like if anything happens with my career, I will always be like, I came from Miami. And that's what I always tell people. And that's my home. I may be living in Los Angeles, but my home is Miami. My heartache Is like an earthquake it's Andrea's fault She controls it all I'm crumbling Just like a building Wounds are filled with salt It's Andrea's fault What a way to fall apart Bloody murder I can't find a way To make it stop ah, My heartache Is like an earthquake It's Andrea's fault Controls it all. She controls it all. Oh. 